Hey, what's up guys, Malfect here. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm trying out PUBG Mobile, the global light speed version with using the GFX tool. What is GFX tool? GFX tool is a application which enhances and unlocks graphical options for PUBG Mobile. Today I'm trying it out with the Xiaomi Redmi S2. It has the Snapdragon 625 and four gigs of RAM. Okay, let's go to the GFX tool itself. And I already have a preset in it. I tried it out beforehand and so on. So what we have to do is to select the uh, version we are playing with, which is the 8.5. And then I'm gonna go with that resolution. The graphics will be HD because Snapdragon 625 isn't the strongest one. So we're gonna set it to HD. The FPS will be 60. Anti-lasing is disabled because that doesn't really give us much more uh, graphical um, smoothness whatsoever. It more um, sucks the power, which we don't really don't want to do. So the style will be colorful. And basically that's that for now. GFX tool doesn't have more options as for now. And then we hit accept. And again, there's the advertisement. And the Redmi S2 is running on MIUI 10, so everything is even more fluid than it is used to be. And as for my newest viewers, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as I'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games, so hit the bell to stay tuned. And yeah, like I said, the S2 has the Snapdragon 625, it has a 3000 mAh battery, which is Okay, it isn't the greatest, but isn't bad either. With the battery optimization of MIUI, it's enough for a day of heavy usage. Um, it has beautiful, beautiful cameras. Uh, you, you do take really awesome pictures with that dual setup. Build quality is okay. It isn't um, a premium build, I would say. It is hard plastic, so it isn't a metal unibody, unfortunately. But then again, that's a budget device. I paid for um, I paid around 110 euros, which is about 130, 140 bucks. And for this price, uh, the build quality is nevertheless very good. Okay, we're at the menu right now. We're gonna go to settings to check our um, graphical options we are set it with. So yeah, the graphics are on HD, the frame rate is on extreme as you can see. The style is on colorful and the anti-lasing option isn't even there. So it's pretty important that you disable auto adjust settings because um, if we enable that and the system sees like, oh, your phone struggles with these options, it will automatically turn down the graphical um, options we have turned them to. So make sure to, to dis disable them. Okay, I want to play a classic Sandhawk game, like the last times, and just hit start game. And like said, it's not bringing 625, it's a little bit outdated, um, but it still holds itself up really good in 2018. Um, you can expect to play at least everything on medium details to even high details, depending on the game. And those optimizations with them. And compared with the 4 gigs of RAM, multitasking is absolutely an option which you can consider. Um, although a lot of people are saying that uh, RAM is making a gaming difference, it doesn't do any major di um, difference at all. Even if you have the 3 gigs of, 3 gigs of RAM version, it doesn't do any much of a difference. At least gameplay wise. If you are planning to record this at the same time or um, let's say uh, stream at the same time, of course more RAM is more important in these situations. But yeah, um, overall it's, run it's running quite okay. No major frame rate drops. It's also looking um, acceptable. Let's uh, turn off the speakers, we don't want to hear nobody. 
Um, let's jump out hard tin. It used to be more of my favorite places because the loot isn't really that bad at all. And yeah, it's a it's a running pl uh, on a f playable frame rate. This video is on 60 FPS, so if the frame rate drops in whatever way, you, can, you guys can also see that. But for now, it's uh, acceptable for me. Okay, let's try to go to those houses at the beginning. And by no means, guys, I'm not trying to show off any skill. I'm just trying to show you what this device is capable of. Nothing else. Just to take that to note. Although the screen isn't the best um, of the Redmi S2, it's acceptable fine. I think yes, we are outside of the zone. Anyway, uh, let's hurry up and try to get much as stuff as possible and then head to the safe zone we don't want to wage, uh, waste that much of time in that town oh come on get in there our health group again uh, let's stick with the vector here Just because I have the um, M41 already. A lot of half grips at the moment. Usually I don't get that that much at least those red half grips are kinda rare I don't know they seem to be spread out pretty much on that town in this game I can hear somebody Uh, should we take, go with the no I'm gonna go with the vector there seems to be someone yep just as thought but this guy already um, almost had me <laughs> pretty close actually Okay, let me zoom in again. All right. Okay, um, we probably should move to the safe zone. I think for the most part I do have everything I need. And luckily there's a car. Let's see how the performance is while driving.
It's okay. There it lagged a little bit. Yes, now I see a little bit of frame drops. Yep, it's lagging when the world is loading even more. And luckily we have the expanded magazine. But yeah guys, overall, as you can see, it's running quite fine. It's uh, playable. Maybe turning down a few more options would make everything more fluid. But yeah, on these settings you can pause it if you like, you can adjust it, you can play around. But if you are planning to buy this device and using GFX tool, you're uh, way to go. So this shouldn't be a problem at all. Thank you a lot for watching as always. And don't forget to subscribe to see new videos every day. Have a good one. Bye guys.